So what are we doing? We doing the intro? It's your intro. Okay. <laughs> I thought we was just <laughs> right there. You said you had an intro. I was like, damn, bro. I ain't have shit. Uh, so what do you... What do you mean? You what's up, You ain't got a just YouTube intro? Pull it in with a what's up, y'all, or something. I don't know. If you're gonna do YouTube, you need to be... Shit. Brianna's the star. Let's ask me. It's too hard. Next on News Be Funny, a porta potty pile up. What? All the fun of the fair. Bush's Baked Beans Museum. Beyonce's new album. The album is out, and Ooh, is that the cover? Oh, I like it. All of this and more. <laughs> what is story. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> Coming up next. Deanna and Williamsport yesterday. That was the story we already did. Let's do this one. <laughs> Let's do this I one. I it. Yeah. yeah. Let's oh, go to Lord. St. John's County. Anchor Anthony Austin Margarita. has details on a new hotel development. Another Margarita. <laughs> Margarita bowl. Oh. <laughs> you can say that. I know right. what you're saying. I haven't had a Margarita. Another See? Margarita Bill hey. Hotel is playing for the First Coast. He's That's saying he ain't had Margarita. He ain't shaking right. for it. Oh. Happening right now, anchor Mi Jung Lee has the latest on a wildfire in British Columbia. Mi Jung Lee? Mi Jung Lee. Oh! Good evening. Thanks for joining us. The blaze is burning Somebody through the streets of terrain hey. southwest of Penticton and moving wait, towards wait, the Apex Mountain. <laughs> for the heat index in Washington, D.C., here's Who is the news right? Matthew Capucci. Heat in the seas above 100 degrees, so take it easy later on today if you're heading outside. Any girl. plans, if you're working outdoors, oh. gardening, anything like that, oh, make sure you have the sunscreen. You look like a fire road. Yeah, you can go inside for frequent breasts. And, of course, uh, make sure you have uh, water as well. Got to stay hydrated on days like today because you'll definitely be sweating. Baggage thefts are increasing at Cleveland Hopkins Airport. Reporter Sarah Goldenberg investigates. The top items we found stolen from the airport besides luggage include purses, keys, and phones. But the other items that have been stolen may surprise you. The baby. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I didn't even see that baby. <laughs> they about to steal the baby. <laughs> Let's head out to reporter Vania Castillo. She joins us with information on an El Paso restaurant. Ooh. It's closed because TABC Why is currently investigating the restaurant because of alleged narcotic violations. Now, as she a result is of TABC's investigation, Ciro's has had their liquor. Ciro's has had their liquor permit suspended oh, for 90 days starting to. <laughs> for the I'm Iowa State Fair for forecast, Here's meteorologist Chris Longinger. Cupcake helps me out with the forecast. Cupcake, can you do something about the rain? Mm. Yes? Okay. We'll Come see what we can out. do. The reaction to Beyonce's new album cover. She's Here's meteorologist Ella Dorsey. The album is out. Like 40. At six pack. Mm. That's the cover. She is so hot. Uh, yeah. That's the still cover. on stage yeah, dancing. Yeah. She that's was pregnant right now. Had about three babies. Look at her. Janelle. She was pregnant. Oh, that's when she took the thing. All I can say is she looks fabulous. She looks good. Ella Is he cheating? <laughs> oh, no. Is this a white woman? What do you think? Ella, can I tell you something? And no offense whatsoever. Period. What are you doing? Absolutely and no offense not. whatsoever, period. Now to morning headlines <laughs> with anchors Kylie Conway and Drew Blair. Good morning. Welcome to Daybreak. Happy Friday. It's August 5th. Don't leave the house just yet. Stephanie Mead is on deck with a look at the morning drive. See if there are any slowdowns. Don't leave it at all. Just okay. stay home. Okay. Watch Daybreak all morning. Start your Friday off right. Just relax. Right, Tarrett? Oh, yeah. Wait, did she just walk off the set? To tell you, wait, we're not, we're not on camera yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Decent. All right, Sarah. Uh, well, no, we're not. We're here for Sorry, you. Geez. We are. <laughs> Let's toss it out to reporter Aaron Baskerville. He's live at the Philadelphia Eagles preseason kickoff. Now with the fans, my man, as you can imagine, it's getting really close to game time, so everybody's kind of packing up, streaming into the game. We still got some folks out here kind of running patterns out here. Can we see something at all, guys? Can we see something? So you see a lot of this right now. You got some people just kind of just getting ready to get in the game. Oh, Does so he got scared. an arm, folks? Let's see. Ah, no, it's a terrible pass. Mm -hmm. But Brad, if you uh, swing around, just a just a lot of Not folks a just out here, kind of still enjoying themselves. Here's a look at the week ahead with anchors Mike Kirkov and Alex Corradetti. Talking with his tongue. Heard about how I. 
Why she got that on camera? That <laughs> Coming up in the week ahead on the CBS 50 Morning News. Just go. I'm so confused. What's going on? What's the national holidays today? Meteorologist Christina Anthony has the answer. We know that there is a weird national holiday for every day of the year. Today, it is for those of you with left hands. She or said, who are left-handed. We said, all have left hands. Left hand. <laughs> Just take the shot. Let Lexi do the talking. Oh, here. man. I don't know if I'm going to be much better. Wow. I, we're both righties. Okay. We, yeah, we have our left hand also. But um, for National Left-Handers Day, yeah, those of you who are dominant on your left side, this mm -hmm. is for you. And um, our producer, Emmett, is one of them. So I'm still embarrassed. I'm still <laughs> blushing. <laughs> Auntie Anne's is releasing a limited edition oh, item for this fall. Anchor oh, Dan yeah. Janig has more. Anne's is collaborating with Evil Genius Bear Company to release a limited edition October Fest, October Fest Lager Bear beer. Why was he so right here? I promise I haven't had it. October Fest Lager Bear. The beer is dubbed I is. I think it might be German. You didn't hear when you said beer? I swear I read the story. It's it's bear. Bear. <laughs> I think so. I might be. Anyway, is brewed with imported German hops and malts as well as Auntie Anne's soft pretzels, which I've never had. It's yeah, I, know. I don't. I don't understand that. You're gonna learn that. We need to buy this man a pretzel. Thank you. I don't get out much. You'll learn this about me. It's <laughs> designed to be enjoyed. <laughs> That's on very very pretzel very 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 now available at stores in both Rhode Island and Massachusetts. Well, you made it through that read. Day. <laughs> For the seven-day forecast in the Southern California mountains, here's meteorologist Henry DiCarlo. Those temperatures coming down a little bit back to the average. Now, Why here's is the deal: free? mountain communities can enjoy free. this week as you can because on Sunday. <laughs> Many of you are not going to make it through Sunday. Oh. <laughs> it's just, that's just too hot. Now, I'm going to tell you. You're going to make it through Sunday, man. That's the combustion. day. He um, coming so back. I, I would suggest enjoy the mountains till Saturday, head down the hill on Sunday, <laughs> right. and then go back when it's safe. Do you on get Monday. here at midnight, and that's the kind of graphic you get. <laughs> Listen, I do. The, yeah, exactly, Chris. And the, again, it goes, it proves my point. I'm. I, I work, work too hard. <laughs> yeah, I work too hard, and sometimes I should just pump the brakes and, and, and take it easy. Next, we turn to meteorologist Aaron Perlman for a live look in Bakersfield. There we have, we have a gorgeous sunrise uh, coming up. Oh, <laughs> Got the air cleaner. Wow, uh, it, it just totally took out my microphone. That whole bird, I, I can't, can you believe that? That, that guy, this, he came down, he, he attacked me, he swooped down, he ripped off the microphone. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> did, did anybody get that guy's number? Um, license plate on that thing? Oh, well, good morning to you. 79 degrees, the temperature. Uh, I hope they gave him a ticket. For the wind forecast in Chicago, here's meteorologist Greg Dutra. Southwest winds right now 13 miles per hour, still keeping the humidity in the area, but again, as that front pushes in, our winds will change. Right now, kind of hung up just a little bit. Oh, I moved the map. I didn't know. I could do that? No way. You didn't know this thing was touching? I got to try it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Can you believe that? Just touch it. You can go anywhere you want. That's so cool. I didn't know. Can I zoom? Oh, man, it's a great day. It's a great day. Uh, it's a beautiful sky. Our temperatures are, are warming up nicely this afternoon, but we're still good. I didn't. I just I've like, never seriously. I've never touched. Oh, it. oh gosh, you can tilt it. What's going on here? All right. Anyway, I'm going to figure this all out. A beautiful day in the next couple of days. Roz, we're going to go out to you while I figure out this new magic that I found. For reaction to the porta potty pileup on I-94, Here's meteorologist Chris Glonginger. Chris, I don't know how you follow that I one. I can't. Free car wash. <laughs> <laughs> Might need the windshield wipers though to clear off. Oh. Puts in that car wash. Yeah. That's really tough to say. Yeah. That's really really tough to follow. <laughs> Thirty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's been a day. It's been a day. <laughs> He's snoring. <laughs> He's snoring. He's snoring. He All right.
32 days with the <laughs> test. Okay. <laughs> 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 Down to 71 degrees by 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> As you get food on the stick tomorrow at the fair. Uh, there's a live look at the fairgrounds, and uh, temperatures are in the mid 70s with an east wind at 11 miles per hour. The dew point puts our feels like, or the heat index, at 79 degrees. Uh, first time in about 18 years that I can't make it through that. Bush's Beans has reopened the world's most beautiful bean museum. Anchor David Greenberg has the story. Uh, well, if you're a fan of baked beans here, special museums now open. It's <laughs> open its doors again following several renovations. Bush is <laughs> Let's see if we can bring it up here. Oh, it's just so random. As Baked Beans brand has remodeled its museum in Tennessee for five months, it originally opened in 2010 at the same site as the original. You stay started. I apologize. In the early 1900s, some, some new upgrades include that interactive digital shelf and a virtual plant tour. The museum is open Monday through Saturday so from 9 a.m. to 4, 4 p.m. I'll tell you right now, baked beans are not something I would drop it's on the floor old. and then eat. Uh, that brings us to our morning mug club question of the day. That is so <laughs> random. And they got a whole vending machine full of beans. Yo, different flavors. Bro, Bree, they got a whole vending machine full of Bush's baked beans. Different flavors. <laughs> Garlic. Morning mug club question of the day. Go ahead. Damn it, baked beans. Let's check in I like baked beans, but I ain't putting, I ain't buying them out the, the vending machine. No, imagine having some garlic baked beans. Right, so NASA is that's just the sound that's of a ranch baked bean. And it's kind of creating a buzz on social media. But they laughed too well for me because it really ain't that funny. Sorry. Definitely sounds like there's a ghost in there. Well, I want to know who <laughs> is making that sound. Or what? The ghost. You're right. <laughs> and the goblin. The ghost and goblin. <laughs> the haunted house. That's what it sounds like. NASA shared the noise from a galaxy cluster, which is about 240 million uh, light years away from Earth. So it sounds like, what's that show? A, a long, long time, time to get here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Scientists say so that the black hole like, sends out pressure that sound, waves that's that the sound of a black hole yeah, in hot gas. Season, right? which can be translated into these Maybe notes, cute. these tones and sounds. So gas and, and we're sounds. positive that the aliens don't exist. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. I fuck with aliens. <laughs> you don't, I don't even try to probe it. That is true. <laughs> that, that's, that's a shift the notes. Shift the note, let me be clear there, so that we can hear it, amplify it. And that is what they came up with. One person compared it to, quote, billions of souls <laughs> wailing in anguish. And sometimes when gas makes sounds, you are in anguish. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh, man. Especially if you're... I hate this show. No. I'm going to move on. Oh. I have another comment, but you know oh. what? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. It's too early. We love our jobs. Oh. <laughs> For the oh, evening dude. forecast <laughs> in all states, so many things like that. What's the end? The girl no, okay. We're not cutting this out. What do you mean right now? Dude, they gotta know what you did. You don't like it, Papa? No. Do we have any more record temps? No, we're no. done with the heat, right? <laughs> Erica's little boy, Odie, is joining her for the forecast today because, well, it's just cool. Uh, yes, it's very yeah. cool inside today. Um, yeah, lots of things happening in my life, so here we are giving <laughs> the forecast. Whoa. 41 triple digit day so, so far. Cool, that's gonna be me for real. I do that for real. 41. Definitely surpassing 2021, getting close to 2020. Unfortunately, I think we're gonna well surpass that as we take you out into the next, <laughs> into the next couple of weeks. So we desperately need rain, unfortunately not seeing much of it as we head into the next uh, couple of weeks and even into the start of August. So right now, triple digit temperature. So basically we used to work at a news station. <laughs> that's, that's, I give it, I give the, I give it uh, 6.5. I've seen funnier of news clippers. I want to see somebody cuss, get hit by something. No, okay. Imagine you doing a newscast and you see a motherfucker get hit by something. That bird shit was kind of funny. Though. No, the one with the... I forgot now. You just gonna have to go back and look. But alright, y'all. Thank y'all. This is our first video. 
like, subscribe. We're going to drop more.